So give me a little bit of background on your driving career. Uh, my driving career, it all started, I got my first go-kart at five. Um, How old are you? I'm 21 now. Seriously, I mean, I, I think five is the youngest. I think the last kid was well, I started didn't start at five racing. Well. Though. I got a really late started racing. Um, I didn't. I had my you know yard cart that I run around and my uncle gave me, and the thing was super dangerous too because you'd you'd you had the engine on the left side and you sat on the left side as well. So if you took a right turn, you'd flip because all the weight was on that side. So, so you learned weight management. Exactly. You learned uh, immediately. I was already learning chassis how to, dynamics. How to, yeah, how to be a race car driver immediately. So I told all my friends that they would come over, don't turn right, just turn left. And of course, everybody eventually does turn right, and they all flip. But I eventually, um, I got into go-karting really late, um, or racing period really late. Um, I always loved it, and I was a car guy. Of course, I'm a huge car guy. But um, I didn't get my first go-kart and go racing until I was 16. So I got a really late start at actually being in, being in the go-kart. <laughs> I was 23. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Well, it's. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, but today it's a lot different. It is. It is. I mean, Max and was back in the old 17 days. when he got in the Formula One car. I mean, and, you know, you talk. And, like, and Lance Stroll. Yeah, he's how old? Seriously? <laughs> We're going to have to redo all this. <laughs> but um, anyways, so I didn't start racing until I was 16, and even then I did, um, short ovals and I did road or I didn't do road course I did um, dirt I started on oh, wow. dirt for years and years um, and I ran uh, in a series called the Moark series because I'm from Missouri I live in Branson because my, my parents are in the entertainment business and th that's why you were in theater that's exactly why yeah yeah they have you ever been to Branson Missouri no, no? I've driven like past it past it okay no. but okay let me give you a picture of what Branson is. It's, it's Vegas in the Midwest. It's Vegas in the Midwest. It's the Christian family version of Vegas. So you can bring your family and not have to see all these inappropriate things around. You just turn on television. For yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but um, we, uh, yeah, so I grew up there and my parents have had a show there for years and I am in the show actually, believe awesome. it or not. And I do comedy with my best friend. We do comedy in the show and we dress up as old men and we do characters and dress up like me. Yeah, well, maybe a little bit older. <laughs> maybe Go on. Bit. But anyways, back to racing, though. So I grew up um, in Missouri, like I said, and there's not a huge racing scene at all there. Yeah. And, you know, the only thing I could find was um, dirt karting. Of course, I wanted to do road course and stuff, but it's nowhere around. I didn't know what I was doing. My dad isn't in racing. I, I got the racing bug out of nowhere, so, and I don't know why, but... Was Gateway, is, is there still a road course at Gateway? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, um, Gateway Carplex. But I never I never even yeah. did that. I, I mean, you know, it was either drive three hours every single weekend, you know, to just get a little bit of seat time, or, you know, I went and ran dirt carts every weekend 30 minutes away. So when you heard about this? Mm -hmm. When I heard about Lucas Oil, um, well, actually, I've, I've done the school uh, before even on okay. this, I mean, and I did um, the winter series, and I did two rounds of the race series as well, the championship. Because the winter series isn't a bad place to be if you're living in Missouri. Yeah, it's not It's not a bad environment. Yeah, it's like 27 at home right yeah, now. Yeah, I, so. I, I live in Columbus, Ohio. I got gotcha, you, yeah, got gotcha. you. Um, but yeah, I, I, I raced dirt carts because that was all that was around. Of course, you know, I look at drivers, and I, my goal has always been IndyCar, Formula One, you know, everybody loves Formula One. And so I grew up looking at, you know, Alonzo or Senna and just wanted to be like them. And a couple of years into my dirt career, I was like, you know, I'm good on an oval. I, I've won everything there is to win here in the South. And um, I want to run a road course. And I need to get good at that because obviously IndyCar goes left and right. And right, yeah. So that, that's an important skill to have. So, but I feel like the, the dirt, um, really prepared me for the seat of the pants field because I'm a Park field control. driver huge yeah and you know dirt dirt driving is all about just feeling it feeling the barely step out enough to where you get a slide to where it's just fast enough but not too much and yeah, you don't want that on an IndyCar no, at no not at all not trust at me. all trust me I'm sure he I'm sure trust he's experienced that so how long have you been racing when you think uh, about it? Uh, when I think about it, since I was 16, so I'm 21 now. I see. So, so we'll go five years in the future. Yeah. What are you driving? 
Uh, I'm driving these uh, Lucas Oil cars. Um, I'm hoping to uh, possibly win this scholarship, of course, and run in the series because, um, you know, it's a great opportunity because I don't come from money like many drivers do nowadays. Because you're think, an entertainer. Because I'm an entertainer, <laughs> yeah. People don't realize we don't make a lot of money. So, um, yeah, and um, I'm trying to run the F1600 in Canada, possibly, because I've heard it's a great series to yeah. go run, learn a lot of um, things, you know, go run for a, r a real pro team, because I've never been able to do that. But um, um, I'm going to go back for just a second to go-karting. Um, the way I was able to get to go run road course was um, a couple of my friends got me hooked up with Russell Karting, okay. and um, Jim Russell Jr. really helped me out because I told him, I don't have money, but I'll do anything I can to get in the seat. You know, and so we exchanged. Um, um, I did, I ran their social media page for them, oh, awesome. and I made them. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. I bartered for a ride that year, and that year I was 18 years old, and I was thinking, 18, I need to be getting in a race car pretty soon. So I've I've done a lot of those barter deals just to be able to put together, um, and it's also helped a lot because, um, you know, a part a big part of my career is adding value to myself and creating value for sponsors, potential sponsors, and so I shoot vlogs of every single weekend, like I'm videoing this whole weekend just to, you know, create more value, more. I mean, the presence. witness protection program, so don't get into. Yeah, okay, okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Um, yeah. Race wins or championships? Which um, one's more important? You hand me a resume. You want to drive for me? What are you going to tout on your resume? Championships or race wins? I can only pick one. Only one. Only one. Um, Damn, that's a hard one because <laughs> it's it's hard because a, a race being able to win a, a championship takes a lot of wins. So I'd say a championship is more important, but it depends on what championship it is. Also, I like the way you're thinking. There's no right or wrong answer. Yeah, yeah I was hoping there wasn't. It's kind of <laughs> like, it's kind of like this one too. Uh, you know. You're sitting at home, you've mm -hmm. got two phones, one rings, it's Roger Pinsky, the other one is Chevrolet or Honda on the other one. Mm -hmm. Both of them want to hire you. Do you go with the manufacturer or do you go with a well-known yeah. quality yeah. individual? Uh, that's a hard question as well. Um, that's why I asked. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you want us to answer the hard questions, right? Um, but that's a really hard, because a manufacturer, that could secure a ride for years and years if you go run sports cars after, it because you know Chevrolet is obviously an Indy car, so you could even possibly get to go run with Roger Penske because you're running with Chevrolet. But if you run for Roger Penske, you're in a Penske car, so you might win a championship, or very well could. Which one? It's, that's a really hard one. I don't know. I, I'd have to say... There's no right or wrong. For, that is be Roger Penske. Yeah. I'm a huge Penske guy. I'm, you know, yeah, yeah. RP is a pretty special guy. Yeah, he's yeah. A very. Yeah. And I, the thing that amazes me about him as well is like he's 88 now, at least. At least, and he's still cooking. He's he's always on the radio in Michigan. My uncle lives in Michigan, and he says he's always on the radio. And he talking about hasn't stuff. slowed down. No, not at all. Not he's at all. But, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big Penske guy, but I also like Ganassi because Scott Dixon, if I could be like any driver, it'd be like... Very different attitudes. Very different. Very, very different, different kind of dynamic, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Have fun I'll over try. the next couple of days. Obviously, enjoy driving a car, and we'll you'll get some education in the process. Good luck. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. I actually have a question for you as yep. well, Brian. Um, so, I know you ran... Cart back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that long ago. It was a long, 92, freaking, it was was a long it? freaking time ago. So, 92, 93, 94, yeah. So for me, when it comes to anything, whether it's... Um, How did he turn this around? Just completely. I, don't, I, don't, I'm just, I guess I'm good at entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Uh, um, so you ran cart back in the day. Um, let me ask you this. I, I have a lot of nostalgia when it comes to, you know, I feel like I have an older soul, I guess. Like, I, I love the... I definitely. I, <laughs> I love the greats of any sport. Like, I'm a big Walter Payton guy or John Elway or, or, or anybody like that uh, from back in the day. Wayne Gretzky, I'm a big hockey fan as well. But, so I love the old time. It's great to reminisce about how racing was back in the day. So, in your opinion, um, when it comes to kart... Um, like, was that the greatest era of racing? Were they the most fun cars ever to drive? Most fun cars ever to drive, and it was a spectacular era of talent. Like, 
in 92, 93 when I did most of my IndyCar races. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you just, off the top of my head, Newman Haas had Mario, Michael, and Nigel. Mm -hmm. Roger had, still had Rick, Al Jr. Paul Tracy came in. There was Ray Hall, Stephanie Johansson. Was and all those names there. you're saying are the ones we look at. Yeah, back I mean, at. you just, mm. and when, I mean, literally, because I always drove, I mean, at the time, you know, you needed brand new stuff. We always had year old stuff. So your goal was to qualify somewhere between 14th and 17th. Mm -hmm. If you did that, you were the fastest old car. Gotcha. And in the race, if you could finish. 12th, 10th to 12th, you won. I mean, gotcha. Just the way it was. But it was, I mean, I, I've got a great picture from Loudon, New Hampshire in 1992. It's the first year that IndyCar raced there. And it's me and Mario. And it was on the test day. Mm -hmm. And it was on the front page of the Loudon, New mm -hmm. Hampshire paper. And it said, Brian Till leads Mario Andretti through turns three and four at Loudon. Brian Tilt was being passed by Mario, yeah. but the picture was taken yeah. at just the right time. But it was the coolest picture in the world. Oh, I mean, I, my first driver's meeting in 1992 was at Long Beach. That was my first IndyCar race. And I just sat in the back. I watched a video of that just the other day. Sat and watched these guys walk in and went, why am I here? I mean, why yeah, am I, I can't here? Look at, look at I, these guys. Yeah. So, wow. Anyway, have fun. Oh, well, thank you. Enjoy it. Did we get it? Do we need to do it again? <laughs> okay. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you.